Well, hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. We are on February 19th, 2020. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Welcome to the Daily Dew. As always, welcome to another video. And again, welcome to all the new subscribers. Don't forget to hit that like button. Help support this channel. We're going to start out here looking at the sun the only way we can without burning our eyes out. SDO, thank you, Solar Dynamics Observatory, looking at 304 angstroms here. As we do have some southeast and northeast quadrant connection. Not much but plasma to talk about. Small coronal hole building, equatorial. But you can see on this image here, watch the dark region move from the northwest to the southeast and then back to the north. So something's happening in the sun's magnetic field right now. There's also something happening in our magnetic field on planet Earth as well. Strange events, atmospheric compression events, massive floods, Strong, strong winds, erratic jet streams. Looking at our sun here, at another light. You can see there are no sunspots to look at. Either are coronal holes. You can watch in the last few images here. There is some building. There is a coronal hole building. Equatorial, but not Earth facing. Still a very quiet sun, everybody. Welcome to the Grand Solar Minimum. And if you don't know what that is, there are a lot of scientists, theories out there that are saying this is a solar cycle that we are going through right now. All of these events on our planet is not our fault. It's this big sun's. Let's get to earthquakes here the last 24 hours overlooking the planet. And most largest earthquake was a 5.2 and a 4.6 in Marianas Trench. 5.2 here in Guam, followed by a 4.6 Marianas Trench. So another subduction zone going a little nutty. Now yesterday we had a deep earthquake in Fiji, so we were expecting a larger shallower, but it did not happen. We ended up seeing a distributed four event across the Southeast Asia and into Eurasia, the African plate. And it's still going as well moving north. Another earthquake here in the North Pole and Zvalbard. A couple of earthquakes here as well in Chile. Earthquake swarm continuing in the Dominican Republic. It's unbelievable. Had a pretty sizable 3.8 today reported Another earthquake, New Madrid, 2.9, as well as some minor rumbles right up the California coastline. Stay aware and prepared, my friends and family, please. I hear that they are hiding a lot of data from us, fellow Earth watchers. So please share these videos as we are not being suggested. And again, don't forget to hit that like button. Share with your friends and family so that you can all stay aware and prepared. So yeah, we had a pretty deep earthquake, 4.9 there again, Fiji. Not too much to talk about else for earthquakes, except for the Marianas Trench movement and just watching a lot of action west side of the Ring of Fire. A lot of semi-deep earthquakes throughout Indonesia. There's a lot of recent, recent movement. Last week it was South America and Jamaica. This week it's West Side Ring of Fire. So it's going to go back and forth. Maybe next week be back in North America. We don't know, but we have to stay aware and prepared. And again, thank you for watching today. And if you made it this far in the video, that's freaking awesome because we're about to check out the most disasters from around the world. Starting out here, looking at the volcano updates, 
as Fuego was just updated a few minutes ago. As well, Era in Japan. The Tao Volcano in Philippines. Nevados de Rules in Colombia. Reventador. Sabincaya in Peru. Dakono. Suez Tejima. And Popo. Asosan. Nevados de Chilean. So that's at least 13 volcanoes that have been updated in the past five hours as eruptions. Please look forward later tonight. I'll be releasing the volcanic activity report for this week. Looking here at the latest disasters from around the world, a lot of floods across the United States. They have a little bit of relief coming. Stay tuned for that in the five-day forecast. But you can see here floods straight from South Dakota to Indiana, Alabama, Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina. Thoughts and prayers to everybody down there. Flooding conditions are not getting any better. The ground is saturated still. Across South America, they've got heavy rains as well. You can see these cloud tops reaching their highest, therefore releasing some pretty intense thunderstorms across Brazil and Paraguay and up into Peru and Uruguay. Even further north here, Brazil. And as well, coastal regions of Peru. And I'd warned about that the last couple days in the, the few videos that I've released. So stay tuned to Morning Dew. I do give you guys quite a bit of forecast time to possibly sandbag your house. <laughs> Unfortunately, across Europe, floods are still continuing. Winter storm and very strong wind conditions across Iceland. Thoughts and prayers to everybody in the United Kingdom. The cleanup process is going to begin and then there's going to be more rain coming. Five day forecast coming up. Same kind of situation happening across Australia. Watch for this low pressure center to develop and it will be a cyclone in the five day forecast. Let's get to that right now. Five day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth, Meteor Mike. Starting out here, home base overlooking North America. That cold high pressure ridge is going to scoot straight to the North Pole. It kind of looks like it just got sucked out of the air. So drier conditions are going to continue until about Wednesday, Thursday, or sorry, uh, Thursday into Friday. As a Colorado low develops in the States and an Alberta clipper forms here in Alberta right off the mountains and most times those are going to be some pretty intense weather makers so you can see here uh, Sunday into Monday is when the Alberta Clipper will form probably bring about 10 centimeters of snow here to Calgary and then it's going to move east we don't know exactly what it's going to do yet you can see here high pressure ridge moving into the United States dry conditions but then an intense Pacific low pressure system moves in off of Mexico and that's the Colorado low that we'll be talking about and we're gonna see what happens here because the Alberta Clippers forming at the same time they may join forces for a superstorm for the Atlantic provinces stay aware and prepared across the, the United Kingdom and Eastern Europe watch for deluge of rain and wind as tropical storm Dennis has now broken into about three or four vortices so three or four low pressure systems have now taken over the North Pole and they're just gonna bring a deluge of rain and wind and storms and across Russia and down into Northern China, watch for extreme cold conditions and as well extreme weather here and heavy snow in higher elevations of Syria and into Turkey. Africa, not too much to talk about except for the continual rain on Madagascar and possible cyclone developing later in the week. The big story is here, this huge low pressure system that will be affecting the Northern Territory of Australia and will be a cyclone later in the week. And you can see it is forming on the coastline and it is going to penetrate land. We're gonna see what it does here in the next five days, stay tuned northern territory of, of Australia. I wish I still had friends in Australia, you know. Used to live there in 1982. 
<laughs> I remember Bruce the Moose. He was the butcher who lives close to me. Watching the five-day forecast here, heavy rains to continue across Bolivia, Paraguay, and straight up into Peru, and then into Brazil as those warm temperatures from the equator smashing with that cool moisture coming from Antarctica. I'm going to leave you here looking at the northern hemisphere versus the southern hemisphere, and as well, the storm that I'll be keeping an eye on over northern territory of Australia. Thanks for watching today. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your morning due. God bless humanity. And thank you. If you made it this far, get in the comment section and say, hey, I made it to that point, you know? Much love to you all. Get in the comment section and say hi. I appreciate all of your comments and all the love and support. So again, thanks for watching. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning due. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.